And one thing I learned here, and I think this is the most important lesson of all, you have to work hard. There are no shortcuts in life. If you're not the hardest working person you're competing against, you're not going to come first, you're going to come second, third or fourth. And another thing I would say that's very important as you look to your careers, is go into a growth industry. If you're in an industry that's stagnating, or worse, in decline, for you or your company to succeed, you have to cannibalize your competition, both internally and externally. Whereas if you're in a growth industry, there's room for everybody. I'm going to tell you how to go from absolutely zero, like I'm kind of hard act to follow with Angus, but when you've zero in the bank and you've zero uh, to do uh, and to start with um, not millions of, of how you might do that. I just had had a baby. Um, I was at a bit of a crossroads. I'd worked in two large organisations up until that point. I absolutely never thought I was going to be an entrepreneur. It never interested me at all. I always liked working with people. So it was a real leap of faith, to be honest, to try and do this. I drilled it down to I wanted to work for an Irish company. I liked representing Ireland in inverted commas. I wanted to work for an Irish company. I wanted to work in international settings. So I didn't want to be working in a company that only worked in Ireland. The impossible bit, turn it around, separate it, and be like, I'm possible. It's possible. We're possible. Is back yourself. I don't mean financially, I mean believe in yourself. If you can't believe in yourself, nobody's going to believe in you. So you have to know, you have to believe that you can achieve. Don't be afraid of big changes. Definitely get yourself a mentor. Uh, put yourself out of your comfort zone and do things that you think will be uh, challenging to you and also maybe not in the immediate term in your best interest. Take punts on yourself. Put your money where your mouth is and work as hard as you can. And surround yourself by people, especially leaders, who embody the type of people that you want to be. And for me, what I've determined in any event is that um, as an entrepreneur, you're in a privileged position because you can set yourself up to make a positive impact on society. You don't ask for permission because permission is something that you're, if you, you wait around for things to happen, you're waiting around for circumstances to get to that right moment. They'll never be right for you, so just go out and do it. And I would say find yourself a mentor because they're like a sat nap. Like you want to go somewhere, they know how to go there. Talk to them. It's the quickest way to get there. Um, I think. That would be something that's really stood to us. And well, my last one would be hard work, as I said, never goes unrewarded. So if there is times, definitely in times in my career, when I've been like driving boxes or, you know, wild or somewhere trying to get a photo or something, like, what the hell, this is such hard work, I don't know what I'm doing. And then at the end, you go, okay, that was worth it. I encourage you, just do it. You know, dream it and do it.